Uh, yeah, that was only in 1990, but I did go right to Washington uh, and journalism of that prehistoric era uh, in print, uh, you know, just a few times a week. The other day, I was I was reminded of what a long time uh, it has been uh, that I've been sort of on the front lines of Washington journalism. Back in 1996, when I was the editor of Roll Call newspaper, I worked on a story, a very difficult story, about Congressman Bud Schuster of Pennsylvania, who at the time was the chairman of the Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, uh, and he had a personal relationship with a lobbyist who lobbied his committee. Last month, just a couple weeks ago, I helped edit a story about Congressman Bill Schuster uh, of Pennsylvania, the son of Bud, the chairman of the Transportation and his personal relationship with the lobbyist. <laughs> <laughs> you actually can't make this up. This is true. This is the first known father-son congressional sex and influence <laughs> So some things don't change in Washington. Uh, that's, that's for sure. Uh, that's certainly not the case, of course, when it comes to journalism. Actually, that same February 1996 edition of Roll Call that carried the original story about Congressman Schuster had the following headline, Roll Call Launches Website. Needless to say, that was a big moment. Uh, and, you know, in that sense, everything has changed too. Uh, which is why when I was thinking about uh, these last few years and, and what I wanted to talk about today, I thought it really has been sort of a case study in what I would call editing while disrupted and constantly being disrupted for that matter. Uh, you know, what we're up to at Politico, uh, and Steve alluded to it a little bit, probably as good of an example as anywhere uh, of uh, what this disruption is all about. You know, we're disrupting ourselves, uh, and hopefully the rest of the journalism world too, once again, uh, with this move into Europe, and also across the United States into key uh, state houses, uh, and we'll be doing that over the next few years.